I think if I really want to treat myself, I'll book myself a massage, which is about like sixty to seventy dollars. My cats. I spend. I spend mostly on their pet food, their pet treats, pet toys. I usually shop online for carpentry tools. Uh, on top of that, I maintain a car, and I I like to drink a lot. So those are my three big ticket items. Um, usually it's facial and like hair treatments. So those are quite expensive. I try to save about 30 to 40 percent, but I think I usually end up only like 20 or 30. I don't really have much savings now because I all my savings are gone to my company. Previously, saving be a one or two thousand a month. Give or take, I try and save like at least at least forty percent, maybe fifty percent for a good month. I usually save about ten to twenty percent of the money I bring in. No. Oh yes, I think I've heard of that. That's the one where you just put in a little bit of savings every month and it goes into some investments. That's pretty good. I heard of it, but didn't deep dive into into it yet. I have. I can probably. I know maybe like the one line definition of it, but I don't know it in great detail. Um, for me personally, it's because I have a startup and I don't have that liquidity in my finances to do it really. Mm, I don't dare to take risks, and my friends around me are not investors as well. The first thing would probably be all the jargon involved. There are a lot of terms, a lot of um, things that you need to learn. I think it's something that our parents um, and just in school in general doesn't really teach us so you don't really know, you know, where to begin. Oh yes, <laughs> definitely. Because these are all the local big names. So I feel more secure investing my money in them. I think I will feel fairly confident. Yeah, for sure. Especially if they're Singapore Bank. Uh, I think anything in Singapore is typically quite safe. I think I will feel quite safe. Because there are big corporations that is uh, widely known in Singapore. $100 a month doesn't sound too awful. $100 a month does sound quite reasonable. Yeah, I think $100 is definitely manageable.